In this episode, you'll get to know why Ukrainians are usually so happier than you are when it comes to dealing with banks, getting state-issued documents fast and neat, or getting deliveries sent by your granny from the other corner of the country in a flash. Yeah! Let's start with the basics. How much time and patience do you need to get a building permit in France or a birth certificate, let's say in Massachusetts, USA? First, you try to reach the relevant department by phone. After a few unfortunate attempts, you think of writing an email. Soon you change your mind and dare to apply in person. Cross the desert, swim the ocean, defeat the monster, wait for a few weeks. Oh, you forgot to submit some papers? Too bad, start from the beginning. In Ukraine, all these services are available on tap in a mobile app and on the e-services portal DIA, a Ukrainian for action. A revolution in relations between the state and its citizens, which made public services in Ukraine finally serve people. Really? Imagine you decided to register a sole proprietorship. Ten minutes in line, sipping your morning coffee, and you're all set. Yep, you're in Ukraine. In 2021, Ukraine became the first country in the world to make a digital passport wield the same legal power as the original. The list goes on. Digital driving license, personal tax number, student ID, national pulse, residence permits, a certificate of no criminal record, and even buying government bonds. That's only a fraction of what Ukrainians now have right in their phones. Of course, it wasn't always like that. First, Ukraine had to break up with the Soviets, now out its independence, kick out the Russia-backed corrupted president, and kick him out again. And, uh, that's been a long fight. You hear this heavy sighing? That's an old-school banking system at work. You know, the one with working hours comfortable only for banks. Piles of bills. Oh, hello, trees. And confusing banking language. We've been there, too. Now, Ukrainians have something better. Real banks and smartphones, which took the best international practices and brought them to the max. See, that's a huge plus of a young and flexible banking system, like the one in Ukraine. It can easily adopt new practices comfortable for users, like widespread use of contactless payments with Apple Pay and Google Pay, switching to online bills or covering utilities fee-free via bank mobile app. The Ukrainian mobile-only banks allow users to transfer money in one click or chip in on something special, straight from a banking app, like it was when Ukrainians in one day chipped in over 9.5 million US dollars to buy more high-precision drones after heavy missile strikes on Ukrainian cities conducted by Russia in October. You too can make a difference. Check the link to United24 Fund in the description box and donate to Ukrainian fleet of naval drones. Highly effective in combating Russian flagships, as you know. In three days, the fund has already raised about 5.5 million dollars. That's enough to buy 20 of them. Another 80, and we're good to go. Other than that, Ukrainian mobile banks give real money cash back and allow to split a restaurant bill by simply shaking your phone. Just to name a few. Oh yeah, and some of them even hide arcade games deep in their interface to make dealing with money even more fun. Wow, that was fast. But not fast enough to outride the trucks of the National Postal Service and the biggest Ukrainian private logistics company when they return to the deoccupied cities of Ukraine. Chuhuiv, Balaklia, Izum, Liman and new deoccupied cities of Kherson Oblast week to week. These two postal services returned to Ukrainian cities just days after armed forces of Ukraine to bring humanitarian aid, deliver retirement payments and social benefits, and even serve as a free internet and power spot to help locals finally connect with their relatives. In times of peace, such companies used to deliver literally millions of packages a day. Placing an order and getting delivery the next day was a norm. Two days waiting was a catastrophe. How little we used to know about catastrophes, didn't we? Things changed after Russia launched an undeclared war against Ukraine. But Ukrainian people and businesses have become even stronger. Subscribe to United24 and support Ukraine to help progress and life win over darkness.